Wednesday's practice thought defense for two days in a row. Very really physical up tempo. Um, I think that you know going back to Saturday, they weren't very pleased with the way that they finished in the second half. And so it's good to see that they, not just the coaches but the players take ownership in it. So they want to play really well on defense. Speaking of the defense, a lot of the changes you made were geared toward the spread style teams getting faster and a little smaller. How do you adjust to facing a team that's not like that, that's going to be big and physical and, and you know, try to pound it? Well, first, I can't really get into very much of that uh, for obvious reasons about what we're doing this week. Um, but I can say that I do, I do think we we're at a little advantage um, because, you know, we go all camp and all spring and some, some similar type of plays. True spread teams have to deal with in their defense and spread all the time. So, um, but I've always hoped that, that would help us. I guess what I'm asking is, are you at any disadvantage because you have sort of smaller guys? Well, I think it depends on who you play, where you play, and all those things. So every, every week's different, but um, you know, I think in general, you know, we've talked about before, we have built this, we have moved this defense to more speed than some I just feel like the uh, fact that you guys have had a little bit of adversity, at least this past week, the first half, it, it teach the guys something that you could tell them all day long, but they won't learn unless they experience it. Yeah, I think it's always valuable to, to go in to play the games. I know we can leave our starters out for the entire game. Um, but, you know, um, sometimes it happens where you have a couple easy games where you know your guys are way ahead of halftime, and all of a sudden you're getting one and you're not used to having to, to play in a close game. So I think in that sense, it was good to play the fourth quarter. And you said you didn't think Stanford could change that much, but looking at who they had to play, have they had to show much with this, you know, the first two games, or are they holding stuff? Well, I don't think they've showed very much stuff, but I, I also think that that's probably one of their personality. They do what they do. I mean, not a big, um, huge change from week to week. They don't play a lot of extra line, and they play tight ends, and they run the ball, and they do play action. So on defense, they're going to be you know, very well pulled. It seems like um, Robert and Marquise have really embraced the blocking this year. Is that a difficult sell job to guys like that, or to wide receivers in general, or how do you sort of get them to do that? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that that's really coaching. I think that you know, guys, they've got to be special guys. If you're gonna, you know, have all these records that they do, whatever, you know, to also play that many snaps and block the way that they do takes a special. They're a better duo than we've had before. They're going to help you guys. It's going to block them. Sometimes it's not really as hard as I can. So we have two of them. Describe the, the way this team has changed with Luck not being there and now pretty much a run team, aren't they? Well, yeah, but then they came out last week and tried to throw the ball. I think it's balanced out after the first week and it's outside. So, um, like I said, I think they're going to do what they do. Um, was there, they were still running through first. Um, so I, I don't think they've changed all, all the time. Um, hopefully, we can get them in the first quarter and you know, make the new guy have to make plays. I mean, there was a public report that Andre had already had surgery and was going to be out for a few weeks. Can you confirm that? Or, you know, um, the reporter who reported that had been banned from practice and from the game that's coming up. What was the justification for that? Well, our administration is going to address that with your editors um, later today. Um, we felt that it was very clear what our expectation was. Um, so we'll address that later today. Was the expectation uh, in regard to practices and what was viewed in practice, what's reported in practice in terms of injuries and strategy, that report did not include any references to practice? Well, I think for those of you that were here that day, including yourself, you um, saw what question was asked directly about the record stuff. On our response, and once you start going with everything off the record, you're going to write whatever you want. You say it's off the record. You say, well, I didn't write it because I saw it. So, uh, it'll be addressed in the Double overtime revenge in this game. How does that come into play? The guys talk about that at all? Not at all. Um, every year is new, every team is new. Um, they're a really good team. So, uh, first, they've got nothing to do with it. They've got to play really well on the road. This is a team that's in this really well coached and hard to beat. That's why they've won a lot of games. Lane, it has only been uh, two games, but just how impressed have you been with uh, Morgan Bradley so far? Very impressed. Uh, you know, for him to come in, you know, first division one college games and make as many plays as he has, and you know, take a 
about the relationship between uh, Randall Telfer and David Wimble, who in a way they're competing with each other, yet they seem to be really good friends and really supportive of each other. Yeah, and it's a good position. Sometimes, you know, you get a position where you can't play two guys, like a quarterback. Um, so it, it's good that they both get to play a ton. They both play on special teams, too. Um, very unique relationship. Very, um, they push each other. Those great kids. Um, you, know, Zay, you know, Randall was probably ahead at one point, and then Xavier really matured and um, rounded out his entire career. It's only, it's only a couple games, but uh, you're looking across town at all and saying, uh, you're doing something over there too, finally. Well, I, I don't know what I'd say finally. Um, you know, obviously, you got to do a great start. Well, if we're going to have to stop the run first, we're going to have to play very aggressive in our fits. We're going to have to really not come back. Otherwise, the game gets, gets really long, and all of a sudden, you got to get out of your normal defenses and you get the big play actions. So, um, we've got to play really sound defense. Last one. Last year, uh, in the Stanford game, TJ McDonald was disciplined for a uh, Has that affected his play? Do you see the other changes? In well, I think I think he has. Uh, you know, but, uh, you know, in general, he tries to avoid the area. I still don't know. We'll never know how you did the penalty. Um, you know, we're discussing. I don't know how that could be stopped. If it's impossible, like, slowing things down, in slow motion, making decisions. You understand the game of football. You know, how fast that works. There's no way. Take that and compare it to all the different. It's a half-hour quarterback.